Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Hollow Knight. In the last episode, we went exploring through a bunch of the areas that we had left behind earlier, as we didn't have the means to fully explore them. We still don't, but we explored a bit that we at least had access to now, with our Mothwing Cloak and our Wall Jump, and our Light Source, and so on. We picked up another mask, we picked up a few more charms, and now we're going to go and use that tram pass we had in we found in Deep Nest and investigate the other tram that was over here in the deep roads. Uh, the crossroads, sorry. Cursed are those who turn against the king. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon, the teacher, in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian, the watcher, in his spire, overlooking the city. Hera, the beast, in her den, amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, Hollow Nest lasts internal. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel? Or by that captive light? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet still, our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done.
fade away, little shadow. Fade away, and let us sleep in peace. fate they visited upon you, to cast you away to this place between body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you into that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit, that sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence. The precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you find it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go out into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect 100 and then return to me. I will teach you more. Uh -huh. These trees will give you a small puzzle to solve. You will be able to run around and collect all of these red orbs. Each one is worth one essence to you. If you leave the area and come back, the tree will be in the same place, and you'll have to strike it again if you wish to collect any of the essence that you left behind. 
the essence that you had already collected by hitting the tree earlier will not respawn. And you will just only have to collect the bits that you left behind. Once all the essence in the area is completed, the tree will look like this. In addition to interacting with the trees, some corpses can be struck with a dream nail as well. So dark. You will be able to see or hear the last thoughts that were in their minds. You can also strike enemies with a dream nail, and it will give you soul for doing so and I do not believe it will damage them otherwise. Let me rest.
looks like the snail shamans dabbled in ancient magics which involved souls. You can also strike living enemies with the soul, uh, with the dream nail, and you will learn their current thoughts. This world, this cruel, sinful world, why does she wake? Why does she persist? Ah, Le Mer, you could not know of tragedy as complete as she is. True lovers stripped apart to worlds that could not meet. And now, my lover, dead so long in time, dead so far away. Buried Monia? Aye. Amongst its hateful kin that did deny our union, that did reject Shez's outsideness. She doesn't suppose? Nalo, Nalo. Could she ask? Could she burden? Lemire, wouldst you, couldst you deliver gift to her grave? The gift is maybe small, but the trek is long. She rests amongst her kind near our queen's lush refuge. Would such a thing be done? She asks perhaps impossible things, mad things? For Le Maire to take up such quest would be a kindness She has near forgotten. She is asking us to accept a gift and bring it to a grave. Unfortunately, we do not yet have access to this grave spot. Further, having attempted this before, if we take any damage while carrying this gift, the gift will be destroyed. Since we cannot access this area yet, and we will not be able to for some time, we will simply say no at this point. We can come back here though later and try to bring the gift to the grave know that there is no necessarily penalty for failing because you will get another gift and be able to make other attempts should you fail. But at this moment, we don't even know where we have to go, so I will refuse. I do intend to make several attempts at this later when we have that area found. You turn away. She should have expected such. This world is not one of favors, only of heartache. Oh, Nimino, nails and claws. Why must it be so? Even these dried husks, a nightmarish creatures, are infected as well. They leave the same poisonous ichor. I can't tell if the 
infected insects we've seen are dead or just merely sick. I guess it doesn't matter. It'd be similar to the zombies in a Resident Evil game. It doesn't matter, I guess, if they're dead or sick. They're no longer people. Stop there. Those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed. Better to rest here until time itself sleeps. Hope and freedom. I thought that strength alone could grant me these things. In my dreams, I would cut that plague with my nails. And then i turn my weapons upon the king. When I awoke in this sacred place, I began to understand. Those who hope are already doomed. Do you still hope, Wanderer? Will you flee? Or will you raise your weapon and doom us both? With the Dream Nail now, we will be able to see ghosts at various graves. Some of them will be able to challenge, and if we're successful, we will earn essence for doing so. Yes, can see now. Those who turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. Do not call me a traitor. Simply call me a fool. I know you will not flee. Wherever you go, I will be watching.
Achilles again. Ah, Wilda, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Curry, curry, ah, more. You've already collected 100 essence. Quick work, things come naturally to you, don't they? No wonder the dreamers tried to bury you in that old dream. Perhaps you frightened them. Or perhaps, being prisoners themselves, they desired your company. In any case, you still have a long way to go. Take this old trinket as encouragement from me, and return when you have collected 200 essence. What are you doing poking about in a dusty old mine like mine? Nothing of worth is hidden inside, believe me. But keep probing the world around you with your dream nail. Hidden things will reveal themselves. Alright, we saw a statue down here. Let's go back and strike it. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. Many stag stations have been opened. Again, I can travel the breadth of this kingdom. So many grand thoroughfares and old sideways I'd forgotten. Somewhere amongst the lines lies the stag nest, the place where I was born and raised. I thought its location lost to my failing mind, but now I can almost remember the path. If you keep opening stag stations and beckoning me through them, perhaps I'll find again that nest. Ah, I would like that very much. <laughs> the resting grounds. Passengers would come here to conduct rituals for those who had passed on. Not anymore, though. Perhaps the dead conduct their own rituals now. <laughs> Hmm. Let's go back to Dirtmouth and purchase the map that Cornifer must have left with Zelda. <laughs> we'll talk to the Elder Bug and then we'll go to the mines. To reach Dirtmouth, most travelers take the circuitous routes around the cliffs beside us. It's a hard trek now, but in the kingdom's prime, things were far simpler. There's an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbled away, and even without it, a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you. It's meant we've only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busiest times. I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on Dirtmouth. I like the quiet. To descend into that ruin. Why? Things are so much simpler up here. Ah, <sighs> Bapanada. Oh, and she's selling new pins as well. A map of the resting grounds, a sacred place not far from the crossroads. Cornifer told me he found the area serene and calming, but it sounds a bit spooky to me. No thanks.
Corfer has been telling me about these strange whispering roots he's been seeing. I made some pins so you can record your locations yourself. These will mark any of those trees, which we can strike with the dream nail in order to gain some more essence. After you turn a tree into its fin finalized form, the pin will also be removed from the location it was in. Areas that we have already found these trees in will now also have been marked on our map right now. Corfer told me he's found some interesting looking graves and shrines in the depths. You can use these pins to mark down any interesting graves on your map. Go pay your respects. I'm glad I put down my weapon. This quiet life with Corny makes me a lot happier. It would be nice to stretch my legs again, though. Sometime soon. Oh, good for Zelda! Wow, so she used to be an adventurer of some sort. I'll assume that she wasn't a, a nefarious type of adventurer. And let's see if Breda has any more fanfiction about us. The White Savior returns. Long had they remained apart in the village, once so warm, now grew cold. The maiden felt the well of grief. It gripped fierce about her lonely shell. And suddenly, as though her tragic state was sensed, the Savior returned, standing tall, glowing bright. Below shining horns, eyes welled black, glistening. Eyes only for the maiden long missed, long desired. Her savior leaned close, sat beside, perfectly composed. In that charged, breathless moment, not a word needed to be spoken. The maiden's shell felt suddenly tight, her claws curled. No glance was shared, no claws touch. Just perfect, aching love, shared in silence together. Ooh, wow, that's some, that's some deep stuff, Breta. We don't have to go this way, but I want to kill the guards on occasion. We need a few more of them in order to get the journal entry unlocked. They're not that difficult to kill, and they drop quite a bit of Geo as well. body c cover my shell what meaning in darkness yet here i remain i'll wait here forever till light blooms again how much longer kill it how much dangerous how much longer kill it how much longer kill the empty one how much longer must I dig?
Come the Mopta. Come the scale of the mountain? I've heard tale of a summit way up there. Too far for me, though, and I'm not really one for heights. I jabbed myself on one of those crystals back there. Awfully sharp they are, and all over the place. You'd best watch yourself if you're heading up. We cannot bounce on those crystals. That will just end our adventure in that direction. We also cannot make it up here yet. So we'll just mark this and come back here later. It even looks like him. We have Sly's shop's key for what I believe his cellar. Quite a view, no? I'm not surprised you survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it would be quite intimidating if not for your small stature. Nah, Minobis. Did it sadden you to see those miners below, still laboring at their endless task? Even overcome, strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. The crystal ore is said to contain a sort of energy. Not as powerful as the soul the city dwellers harnessed, but far less lethal. Strange to know such ancient facts. I wonder from where my knowledge comes. These winds cry lonely. Bear the comfort of rock above one's head. Lots of places we can't reach in here. Notice these strange egg creatures here have no thoughts at all.
curious that the crystals were growing out of these insects, or at least some of them. I guess, I mean, we can see slight shards and dust floating everywhere in here. So I suppose over time, it grew into the creatures? I'd given some thought as to what these crystals were mined for. You might remember that Salubra mentioned that the crystals could be used to focus one's soul better. And Coral just mentioned that they're not as powerful as the souls that were gathered in the city. But safer. So I guess this would be the equivalent of trying to have a safer but less powerful version of, like, a plasma or Bioshock. Also, very impressive machinery to have been built who knows how many years ago, and for it to still be operating even now. map for a bit and see what areas we still need to explore. Oh, quite a beef, quite a few actually. We missed a passage here, a passage up here, and some place, oh, in two places out to the sides. Let's try to get the middle passageways first.
I guess since we're here, we'll at least check this first. making that jump either. Like every passage we take has something that prevents us from, well, fully exploring it. was close. I think we'll take off Fragile Greed for a little bit and go back to using Dash Master. We'll actually, well, we'll take a look at some of our charms probably at the beginning of the next episode and see what it is that we've picked up. Because there's quite a few that I own that we haven't even read about yet. So we've got one passage we haven't checked in the mines yet. So, 
I suppose that these gems or crystals were probably placed, I guess, into jewelry or other such objects in order for the bugs to wear them and be better at collecting or using soul. And maybe if they were used to power these things as well. Looks like they were working on giant mecha. for this area that's not going to work. Dig, dig, crush, dig, lift, dig, obey, follow, obey, follow, crush, crush. I wonder if these things were alive at some point. Is it still thinking? I guess maybe the crystal put inside of it gave it a soul, and we can read its thoughts or its last thoughts by striking it with the dream nail. That was interesting earlier with the digger as well, on the outside of the mine. I've never struck her with the nail before. It sounded like something was commanding her. In addition to her own thoughts.
Holy crap. That was really bad. any choice but to keep going. Well, that seems like a good place for us to stop, everyone. So, when we come back, we will try to get our shade back. I suppose first, though, we'll come here and we'll go ahead and read our journal a little bit more. Bellfly. Thin wings hide a highly volatile belly. Will give its own life to protect its territory. An angry creature with no regard for its own life. A creature without fear. Can it truly be called prey? We killed one of the normal hollow nest creature types, I think, as well. Oh no, we did this one. Wandering Husk. The remains of a bug, animated by a strange force, wanders the roads where it once lived. These civilized bugs of Hollow Nest were weak in life, and now they are equally weak in death. Send them back into the dirt they were born in. I think we also might have unlocked one or two of the crystal mine creatures. Oh, hello, Zero. Lingering dream of a fallen warrior, executed for crimes against the king. A life defined by tragedy and triumph. A death marred by sorrow and regret. A spirit burdened by sins and memories. Better to wander the world than be cursed with glory. Zero. Huskwiner. Remains of a bug drawn to the crystal peak for its precious crystal. Its claw pick now doubles as a fierce weapon. The bugs of Hollow Nest lusted, af lusted after the strangest things in life. They would dig furatively through the dirt for stone, ore, and in particular crystals that grow at the top of the world. Hi everyone, that'll do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care everyone.